Hey guys, welcome back to A Slice of Gaming, the only Python 4 here with another part of Chrono Trigger for the Nintendo DS. And last time we left off, we have our friend Chrono alive and well. And we can put him back in our party if we want to. I'll get into that in a moment, but first, hail men, we did something cool. So, all went well. No, don't thank me. I merely placed a piece upon the board. It was not my hand that moved it. If you were to thank someone, thank the ones who cared enough to see their friends return to them. By the way, the wings of time have come looking for you. They seem to have a heart and mind all their own. You wish to fight Lavos, correct? Many paths lie before you. You might choose to leap into that bucket, or fly the wings of time to the day of Lavos. Or there is the Black Omen, which now straddles time, seeking to summon Lavos yet again. Such folly lusting so greedily after the power that the power wields you. It's up to you to decide when and where you face Lavos. However, do not think that you stand alone. I have had glimpses, a bit vague, of events, people, and places that will empower you. A forest brought to life by the sheer determination of a woman in the Middle Ages. The fortress of the one, fortress of one of the Magus's three former generals in the Middle Ages. A task to be done in the future, in the birthplace of machines. A prehistoric stone that will shine with the light of, the, of all the ages of the world. The restless spirit of a proud knight slain by maggots in the Middle Ages and lingering even in the present. An object of legend in the Middle Ages that sparkles like a rainbow. Speak to your companions. Some among you may well know the figures behind the events which I have seen. Bore the might of all these lives throughout the ages. Let their strength become your own, for only then can you hope to defeat the enemy you face. Such is the power required should you wish to change the future. I will remain here and bear witness to the world's fate. So, we can do a whole bunch of side quests now, or we can go and defeat Lavos right now as soon as I touch that, but we're not going to. So. What we are going to do instead is take on all of the side quests. Yes, I will be doing all of them. So, first things first, we're going to need a few people on our team that haven't been on for a little bit of time. Particularly Ayla. I feel like she hasn't been in forever, but I also like her, so... Anyways, we're going to need her. And I'm keeping Megas in for a reason. Because the first side quest we're going to take is the one where he mentions briefly about one of three Magus's general has a lovely fort. We're gonna go check it out. And I brought Ayla with me for a reason as well. So let's fly over there. Right here. To Ozzy's fort. Welcome and well met. This is the great Aussies. What? Yeah. L Lord Magus. It's good to see you again, Aussie. The nerve. You think you can talk to me after you desert your fellow fiends to lick the boots of these filthy humans? You're not a lord, you're a traitor. Why did you leave us? He's a little bit upset. But Ozzy's not alone, of course. You pesky low-down good for nothings got to take a hit, eh? Guess I know what I have to do now. Flee. You called? Oh dear me, if it isn't Lord Megas. You must like Shane to come back here. A human-loving traitor like you deserves to be punished like the bad, bad boy you are. Stand back, great Ozzy, and let me take care of these cretins. Right, Isla. Just leave it to you then, Flea. Alright, time for a good heart spanking. So, Lotus Flea has a name change. More importantly, though, don't go all out on it just yet. Still not sure what gender Flea is. But, anyways, as you can tell by the amount of damage that it did to me. It's not taking this fight very seriously. So I recommend you don't either. 
So just a few attacks, and you should be able to get rid of it. No problem. There. Oh, just you wait. I'll teach you a lesson next time. Onwards. Oh, and you can still see Ozzy's up to his old tricks still. Howdy. Arise, my fearsome guardians. Slash him to shreds. No one's taking back the treasure I stole fair and square from Megas's keep. Claw him to pieces. Alright, let's cast fire so we can get rid of their hair as per usual. Just like how we used to take care of them and, uh... Oh. Oz. Ozzy's in a pickle. I'm out of here. Well then, you know, if you're gonna have tricks and traps for us, at least have them work. D don't you people ever give up? Well, looks like there's only one choice. Slash. Summoned. Take care of this for me, will you, Slash? Normally I would not deign to cross blades with my former lord, but who am I to question the complex workings of fate? Ready yourselves. Once again, Super Slash, with a fancy name change, is not going to take this battle very seriously either. So just attack him a few times, and he should be taken care of just like with Diva Flea. Preserve your MP for the real fight. Which is coming up pretty soon here, actually. And that's that. Oh, you win this time. Onwards. Come on, sweethearts. Um, pass. Thanks. Uh, sweethearts, don't you want to open the chest? Probably filled with lots of nice goodies. Oh, treasure! This is a little bit morbid. Oz. Oh, Ozzy's oh, bungled that one. I'm out of here. Once again, another trick has failed. But the DS makes this really, really obvious. But there's a secret passage down here. One with a shiny majig in the corner here. And the rest of this stuff all contains equipment for Magus, which is a nice improvement over the stuff he has, that's for sure. So this is all for you, my dear. And you can have that instead. So... Next part here is you want to make sure that you are, well, fully healed, so if you did take a lot of damage during the last fight against both Flea and Slash, make sure you heal that up. And move on. Hehehe, <laughs> not so fast, friends. Time's not gonna be easy. Aussie Bats! Flea boost, yay. Slash or two. With these items combined, we're invincible. Get ready to witness true power. Right then. So, this is the reason why we bought, brought Ayla along. So, each of the weapons, or items in particular, that Ozzy just mentioned, you can steal with Ayla. And this is the only time you can ever get these items in the game. So, make sure you get them now. And I hope I got the item, because I kind of noticed that the tech was in the way there. So you'll also notice that any time you attack any one of these three, they'll probably counter with a triple tech. With the exception of Slash. He just counters with a double tech. So, the thing you want to keep in mind for this fight is not only to keep yourselves fully healed, 
But you also want to make sure you steal everything before one of the uh, three generals here dies. So make sure you pay attention, like I didn't. You might have to try it a few times, of course the alluring top is going to make this a little bit easier for you. And any time you steal, you'll also be countered with a triple tech. As per example. And then once that's out of the way, you can go about this battle in a few different ways. The first way you can do it is that you can just attack Ozzy and Ozzy alone, and it will just get rid of everybody else. Or you can get rid of the generals one at a time, which is what I've always done just to make my life a little bit easier. Because getting rid of one of the other generals makes the fact that then Ozzy can't do one of his triple techs. And that's a good thing. Because as you can see, his triple tech is a little bit more damaging than the others. So I always focus on Slash because he doesn't counter with a triple tech, he just counters with a double tech on whoever attacked him. So, of course, as you can see, actually, the first thing I always do is I always make sure that everybody's hasted, ready to go, and then everybody's healed, of course. Marley's job is to pretty much do just that, and now that Ayla's almost ready to go here, we can have her focus on just attacking. Also, Dark Bomb is going to be very useful here if you have Megas in your party because it's a high damaging attack that attacks just one of the three generals, so it's nice in a way. Like she had Protect, oh no, that's Luca that has that, never mind. So, what am I looking for here? Aura on Magus. I hate when the menu flips around on me. Especially for this fight, because I like seeing Ozzy at the top there, and I don't like him being blocked. I know it's a weird thing to complain about, but it's just the way I do things. So, another thing with Flea is you want to watch out for when you're dealing with it, is that, as you can see, it does often do nasty things like blind and sleep, all that lovely stuff. So, now that that's out of the way, we can now successfully attack Ozzy without any problems. So let's focus on him next. So use your strongest stuff on Ozzy without holding you back. And as you can see, no more countering. Very nice. Dark Bomb, always. And uh, Flea by himself doesn't really do anything other than just attack with, well, that and then his status ailment stuff. Which Magus is protected against anyways, which is another reason why I brought him along, other than this, I feel like this is his side quest, so to speak. Alright, so, now that all of that is ready, Let's do some double tech here with these two ladies. Why not? See, not a bad fight at all once you get rid of one of them. I impossible! Open up these chests. Vegas, you really have it out for me, don't you? We fought side by side. You said you wanted to create a world for fiends. It was all a lie, wasn't it? You used me! I saw power, nothing more. Surely the howlings of those bitter winds did not escape your ear? The end draws nigh. You can't defeat me! What would become of the fiend kind? I won't. I can't lose. I won't. Alright, this again. So attack one of the switches, and that should be that. Gotcha! Oh no, he learned from his mistakes from before. Adios, amigos. Alright, new strategy. Let's hit the middle switch this time. Let's see how that works. You're wasting your time. You'll never defeat me.
No, not that switch. What do you want? Ayla not understand. I don't know, Ayla. That's a good question, and it will never be answered because that's it for that side quest. Yeah, that's probably one of the shortest ones. At least that I can think of, anyways. So let's get out of here. And before we do anything, let's check out the things we got that we stole successfully. Interesting enough, the Aussie pants are a helmet. Yeah, a little bit odd. And then the flea bustier is an accessory, helps you get more magic defense. As for the slasher too, it's a little bit more useful. It's a weapon for Chrono. So, awesome! We've already finished one of the side quests. So I think I'm going to end it off here, maybe do one side quest per part. So till next time, I'll take on another one. See you guys later.